on the top now. No, nothing can move you. Well, Joe the Bigot Biden, Jim Crow Joe, as they call him, the man who let kids rub his legs so he can, so the kids can see the gold blonde hair on his legs move back and forth. That guy, the one who liked to sniff women's hair, that guy who liked to grab old ladies by the face and kiss them right smack in the lips, that guy. The one who liked to call black leaders into a private um, a meeting and scald them and point the finger at them and tell them, look, we're in a we're gonna be the minority. You gonna have to work with Hispanic because they're gonna be more than y'all. Yeah, they're more than us by by your design, Democratic Party. You let everybody and their mama come into this country. And you give them things to help them live in this country comfortably. But when it comes to black people, you don't give us nothing. Well, he did it again. Joe Biden did it again. Joe Biden announced another, 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 another $800 million military aid package for Ukraine as Russia pressed on with its eastern offense. This is from Al Jazeera. This is from Politico and CNN Politics. Biden announces new Ukraine security assistance. Oh, security assistant. That's the new name they're calling it now. Security assistant. We're not, we're not going to get involved in the war, but we're going to get security assistant. We will speak softly, but carry a large javelin. Here's AP. Biden announced heavy artillery, uh, uh, um, heavy artillery, other weapons for Ukraine. And here's foreign affairs, political. Biden announces 800 million in security assistance. 500 million in economic aid to Ukraine for a country that says that they don't have the money, how are we going to pay for reparations? For a country who always talk about they don't have the money for Medicare for all, they don't have the money for help. Now, I'm not championing that over um, reparations. I'm just letting you know. This country can end homelessness, can't end the homeless mindset, but they can end the homelessness they get in hungry, hunger. This man announced $800 million in security assistance, $500 million in economic aid. Over $1 billion is going to go to Ukraine for the second time. While you, your kids struggle here in the United States, they got the nerves to take your tax money my tax money, your tax money, they give it to people without our consent. Now, I know some of y'all done fell for this hoodwink and got, um, you feel like you got to be a Malcolm X and be a dumbass black person, excuse my language, Lord, put on a uniform and go out there and fight. That Negro ain't fighting. He just pulling a wool. He's staging. He ain't out there fighting. Jamal Thomas again. Go watch Jamal Thomas over there. Um, um, fault lines. He'll go into detail over that. Front, watch Professor Black True talk about, talk about it. Front, he's out there fronting like he's, I'm a black man. I feel as a black man, it's our responsibility to help these white people um, uh, get protected from other white people. What you getting out of it? I don't mind, look, look, I don't mind making some doing some deals but well, what are we going to get out of for we're losing how the black community is taking a loss on behalf of ukraine this country will rather go through a nuclear freaking war than give you your reparations this man is sitting in your face telling you it's not feasible. I got all the, I got to deal with all these people running that run their mouth. Oh, you're gonna start an issue with you know what white people and stuff like that. Ain't no issue with them taking our money and sending to Ukraine. They haven't talked to the black community about their taxes. I don't want my money going to no Ukraine. My money need to be stayed here. Support Ukraine. Support black people. Oh, Putin, shut up. Ukraine ain't innocent people. Their leader is not innocent either. You got both dumb nitwit. 
I'm not on the side of neither one of them. All I know is at the end of the day, when when the stuff started hitting the fan in Ukraine, black people was trying to get out and they wouldn't let them out. They said white women and kids first, white men second, and uh, and anybody else third, and then maybe you black people can leave. But we'd rather you black people stay here since we're giving you free education and help us kill these Russians or fight against these Russians or whatever. We need you black people to be our dummies and, and, and lose your life on the sake of keeping us pure. We, Because we need to look out for our blue-eyed babies, not for your black, nappy-headed children. President Joe Biden on Thursday announced an $800 million package of security assistance to Ukraine to further argument its ability to fend off Russia's new offensive in the southeastern Donbass region. How about stop playing games and keep your word that you did with Russia and with uh, NATO and, and, and because you allowed them to break the word or break the treaty or break the vow, we got to deal with this mess. Well, we don't. I ain't got to deal with it. That's y'all problem. The package will include heavy artillery weapons, tactical drones, a dozen of hot switzers, as well as 144,000 rounds of ammunition for those howitzers, Biden said in a speech at the White House. Also, this money is going to go to the Azov Battalion, a white racist bigot battalion in the military, the part of the military arm of Ukraine. They're going to have access to black people's, now I can say black, brown, and all color. I'm just going to stay with black people. Black people taxpaying money has gone to Ukraine. A lot of it is going to go to a military arm of the Ukrainian army that's fascist. Things like heavy artillery weapons, drones, 144,000 rounds of ammunition. So not only is this a fabricated war, and I wouldn't say fabricated, it's a real war, but we're just trying to troll Russia, and the only reason we can do that is because we don't have nothing to fight right now, and we just gave the military money to spend on weapons. And now we're giving them even more money. And half of these nimwits in Washington, D.C. has all kind of stock options and um, um, Northam Grumman, Rayon, whatever, you know, all the military industrial complex companies, they have stock options and value in it. They get most of their support from it, including ABC, NBC, MSNBC, and Fox News. If it ain't the military complex, it's the medical industrial complex. If it ain't some kind of sickness and disease that they're taking our taxpayer money, paying these corporations to get rich off your sickness and disease, they're going to do the same thing by faking the funk about a war, starting a war on purpose, trying to figure a way to get in, business that has nothing to do with America. These people didn't attack us. Russia ain't did nothing to us. Or they hacked our election. Oh, that's already been proven wrong. And he, let's say they did hack into our elections. They didn't hack into the voting system. That's been proven wrong. Well, they did some Facebook ads to kind of turn people away from Hillary Clinton. Ah, stop with that stuff. If you dumb enough to believe stuff that people put on the internet, that's on you for not doing your research. But there's a lot of people that believe that. You're going to have people going to believe all kind of con stuff. You can't control that and stop trying. The bottom line is they've taken black people's taxpayer dollars and sent it to racist bigots in Ukraine and even to fight against probably racist bigots in Russia. And they also giving this money out because they want to get make the military complex rich. Rich, rich, rich. The nerves of Biden to sit there and throw the finger up the black people who talk about reparations and talk about what well, my daddy, I mean, well, I got to pay for something my daddy had to. It's not you, it's the federal government, idiot. I can say why 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 black people got to pay for Ukraine. We have no choice. You're taking our tax dollars and giving it to them anyway. This whole Russia thing is no different from the whole COVID thing. 
This is a great excuse to funnel money to the wealthy. A hell of a great excuse to funnel money to the wealthy. $800 million plus another $500 million. We already told Ukrainians that they can come to America. You ain't got to be like Eddie Murphy. You can just come here. We're going to house you. We're going to close you. We're going to give you um, temporary uh, a visa that could possibly turn into a full visa. We're going to give you free education. We're going to give you free health care. But you can't do that for your people in your country. And you're going to just take feces like that man did in New York. Take feces and throw it in our face by giving our tax dollars when we need it the most. All this, just like all that money they took to enrich the medical industry trying to find a vaccine when they already had stuff to help people out anyway, you're gonna do the same thing over here when it comes to military, taking our tax dollars money, funding majority two white countries who take pride in their whiteness to the point that you have a racist bigot genocidal leaning arm of the Ukrainian government that's going to get some of this weapon. Yeah, black people. This your boy. This is y'all boy. This is the guy that you voted for. Well, I had to vote for um, somebody. No, who told you that? I vote for black empowerment. And if I don't see black empowerment, I ain't voting for it. Well, Kamala Harris was black. No, it wasn't black. But you better look beyond color when it comes to black empowerment. Kin folks, uh, say skin folks ain't kin folks all the time. Half the time, these people who claim to be your kin folks when they need your vote, but when they got your vote, they kin folks to everybody else but you. You only pull out their black card when it's convenient for them, but not for you. Katanji Brown Jackson, sit down. Don't don't even go just blow off the question about being a woman. How do you how do I answer that question? How do you define a woman? It's simple. I'm gonna talk about this stuff more on the show, whether you like it or not, because I can sit here and say I identify myself as a car, but I ain't rolling out here on the highway like a fool to get ran over thinking I'm a car. But that's another story. We gotta get ourselves in, in shape and in order, man. It's time for all this foolishness and to get serious about the growth and the protection of the country and the people that's in it, especially black people. This man gave protection to, to Asians and they don't get nowhere near the support of the Asians. But see, like, you gotta, if you don't support, in order to get your support, I'll do something good for you. And that's the way it should be, black people. You don't be giving out your support to people because, oh, my family always been a Baptist. My, I'm, I'm always be a Baptist. No, man, no. You go where you get fed. Because that dead old Baptist church, just because it's Baptist, don't mean they're feeding you spiritually. Now, if you find a Baptist church that's going to feed your spirit, go all in. But you need to go where your spirit's been fed. And when it comes to these political parties, neither one of these parties have been feeding the spirit of black people. They've been feeding everybody else but black people. But they want black people to feed them. Or black people to feed their narrative of their mission like the military industrial complex like the you know when they took that COVID money Pfizer and other countries Moderna companies begged for our money and our government leaders gave them our money and I get it some of you was happy for them to get it to come up with a vaccine because you didn't believe that there were other stuff available that's on you they take our tax dollars, come out with a vaccine, and make you pay for the vaccine. Well, I didn't have to pay for it. Yes, you did. It came through another stimulus package out of your tax dollar. You didn't pay it up front. They got filthy, freaking, stinking rich off your tax dollars. They met more than a quarter for the quarter. And the thing, it was your money that got them there. And they don't even have the courtesy to give you that money back. And who fault is that? You. 
you buying butt kissers. And if Trump was in office and he did the same thing, it would have been your fault, your Trump nut, nut huggers. And now here we are. Biden is taking our tax dollars and sending it to people, a country who has a military arm that's full of fascist, racist, white bigots. Can't make this folks up. Can't make this up. Black people, I mean, you got to get to a position, man. I mean, you got to wake up, man. You got to come out of your stupor. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to vote for the man, but nine times ten you are. But I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to make you so freaking f afraid that you're not going to get my support because I need you to be afraid because you got me over here afraid. Everybody's getting the goodies, but the people who will put you in office. But yet you're going to sit here on the Democratic National floor convention and say, black people, you did it for me. I hear you and I got your back. What? Stab it? You gonna play this mess that Obama played where you're gonna carry us over to almost the fourth year and tell us vote for me another four years and I'm gonna get it done and still don't get it done? No. Black people, you're not gonna fall for that stupid mess. You're just not. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting to get a different result. You keep voting and voting and voting for people who are not going to do anything for you. It's high time to take Malcolm X advice. Detach from political parties. Become an independent. Block yourself. Become a block and make demands on both political parties that break, bend the knee. If they don't bend the knee, you don't bend yours for them. $800 million, $500 million on top of that. They go to a country that has a military arm full of racist, bigot, fascists. And you can thank yourself, Biden butt kissing voters, for allowing him to do that. I'm Bobby Brown with the Bobby Brown Show on the go. I'll holler at you later.